Hi everyone, I know it's been a real while since I made a video and I've been having a couple stuff happen in my life so it's been really stressful. I have been crafting, not a lot as I usually do, but I am coming back into the crafting mode and I want to show you guys some um, bottle cap charms I did. Um, Art Attack, which is Tracy, uh, she had these um in her shop. Let me zoom out. These tins of Gorgeous Girls. They have all this. And this one is called... I have no clue what it's called. It has this girl. <laughs> so this is the first tin that I got. And it's um, probably around 6 inches. And it came with lots of little stamps. Which I thought it would be perfect to make bottle cap charms. So they're super cute. And they're wooden too. I'm not sure if she still has some. But um, but I'll leave the link below. So they're super tiny just to fit in between the bottle caps. And then the next one I got this one. This is um, the new height. This one's pretty huge. It's probably around 7 inches. So there's a big difference. Let's see what it's not. One's more tinier. Um, so here's the other one that I also purchased. Oops. And this one has, they're so cool. They have the beautiful tins. And then this one came with multiple, lots of stamps. Sorry, I had it backwards. So it came with all these stamps. And I used this one this one and this one and it has an ink pad as well but I'm not really going to use it because I do have um, other ink pads so this is what I use for this project now I use AutoCast and I do have that in the shop available so I made these cute bottle caps let me zoom in oops wrong way let me So I made a couple bottle caps and I used my um, my glossy accents to put the bottle cap. So this is what I created with that first stamp here. Let me make it straight for you guys. There we go. So what I did here is I embossed it with um, Recollection um, White. And I got this from Michaels, the embossing powder. And I took my Tim Holtz um, Broken China. Distress ink and I distressed it more in the middle and then around it So it looks like that and then I put lots of bead and in the back of the um It's a little anchor just so cute Let's See if I could try to do this And in the center here, I put a little seahorse since it was you know as a mermaid I did add sea seahorse right there Hopefully you can see that little key charm and then I did add a turtle here and did add some different kind of beads on it hopefully you're able to see it help come on focus but I added um, quite a bit of beads and then um see if I can zoom in there we go so I did add that all that in there and I did put some crystal beads in there super cute you can see the seahorse and then the anchor in the back oops sorry if you hear mama call she's going crazy so this little anchor is super cute and then the little um sorry here's a seahorse you won't focus so I have this one, super cute, and this is in the baby blue, the um, the bottle cap. And the next one I did was this, these ones are from the new height. The next one I did was this one, and I think this one turned out super cute. And then I stamped her and then I colored her with my recollection markers. So And then the back has a butterfly. And I will put some more... Um, 
pictures in the end of the video. Let's see if I can do this here. So I did add some charms here, as you could tell. Sorry for the. <laughs> So I added another butterfly and an ice and the little, little charm that says I love little heart in the center. And I added pink, um, darker pink crystal beads and a AB pink bead. Kind of big. But I did add those on there. Let's see if you can go focus. There we go. So I had the big lobster clasp and then the crystal beads and then this butterfly here, which is backwards. There we go. And my cult's going crazy. And then this little charm here <laughs> and then all these beads here and then the marker that I use here is um what I've been experienced is with this recollection um markers and these markers work so well for watercoloring because I did get some Tim Holtz and I do not I'm not liking them more than the recollection I love more the recollection and uh, I did spend a little more on the uh, Tim Holtz but it's okay now I know. So I'll talk about those more in a different video. So this is the second charm I made. And the next one I made is this one. So here I use some paper from uh, my basic was it basic gray paper. And I stretch it with some black um Tim Holtz. And then the back has a um sparrow bird. So it looks super cute, and I and I used the um, the silver one. So I put some beads here, which are green, um, green, light green, black, and silver. So I did use a, a little bird here, and then a wing here, and just very simple, very cute. And this one came out super cute. And again, I will have pictures at the end of the video. And this one I thought it was very, very nice. This is the one I did here, the last one, which is from the um, this one right here, this package. <laughs> Sorry, you <laughs> guys. I'll be right back. So here's the last one that I did, and this one has a lot of sparkle. I actually use um, it kind of like let me see what some flakes. This is what I used, but I used it in silver. It's called a uh, champagne crushed glass glitter. But I used this one in silver. Because it's a Hobby Lobby. And it looks like chunky crystals. See if... <laughs> looks very chunky. That's what I used in silver for this one. And I actually used some... um glitter as well from my collections but this one's super cute and I distressed it um, with some purple dye I had the spray from um, Heidi Swap um, see if I focus there. but I actually added a bunch of stuff on this one sorry about that let me show you what I did back here has a cake. Please focusing. Has a cake and a spoon. And inside the cake says happy birthday. I don't know why it's not focusing. Sorry about all the shakiness. Does not want to focus, but here how it looks like. And this is very, very cute. There's all these beads hanging from it. And it has, of course, my favorite, the little spoon charm. And the back has a cake. Do you have a birthday? And it hangs super cute. And I use uh, some pearls, some um, AB glass beads. This little bell I had here. And I love the spoon. So it's super cute. This is all the ones I made. Using the um. 
the new Gorgeous Girl stuff. So I made four in total. And I have been playing around with another one, but I'm not quite done with it. And I have one more. Here it is, the pink one. So this is what I created. Let me know which is your favorite. And I had a couple requests. Um, I did have some leftovers. Some ladies have asked me if I could do them a kit. And I did, but I had some extra. So here's the kit. I have a couple extras from each one. Um, there are in my shop, the extra ones. So it comes with everything you need except for the tools. Because with these eye pins, with the flat head, and your bottle cap already done. And then your lobster clasps. And then your jump rings. Your beads. And your um, charms here. And I, had a, I have three of these left. And this is in the... Um, this one right here super cute and already comes punched right here and the beads and everything you need is out here and I have two of this one but if you would like um you know a kit just let me know I just did some for some ladies and I did have some extra ones that I did this one added a little bite just in case you want to add something let me know I do also have the purple one but I'm it's not here I have no clue I have a mess let me know which one is your favorite and if you want to find these kits and I do have charms in the shop and the laces are 25% off. So go check that out. I will leave the links all below and again these um, beautiful um, images came from Art Attack. Little bins. I'll put the link below to her shop as well. I'm not sure she still has some but I'll leave the link just in case. And again everything will be found in the shop in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.